Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. This video is called, You Will Be Attacked, So Rise From The Ashes. So let me introduce you to a little mother of mine that I've been with since a very young age, as you know. <clears throat> I practice Sanse, and in our tradition of Sanse, there is Hindu deities, and my very favorite mother Kali. I got this image when on one of my trips to India teaches about all of this. So look who's on the back. My homes. St. Expedite. So today I want to talk about being attacked because I've been getting a lots of consultations by lots of people this week and last week, as well as um, emails and writings from people saying about how they're being attacked and how oftentimes they're being attacked by some of the people that are closest to them or family members. And it's really sad, but it happens quite frequently. A lot of times it's the people who are closest to you who will end up attacking you. In fact, if you recall, when I had the tips for success message from Oguba Linjo, it, he told us, be careful because in, in confianza está peligro. Basically, in trust, they're trusting the wrong people can cause us danger. There's danger in trusting the wrong people. Excuse my French a little bit, but I've been kind of like, you know, had some dental work done, so I'm, my voice might be a little different. So anyway, let me tell you. People have been contacting me over and over about how they're being attacked, how many of them are being attacked by people that they thought were close to them, or how they were being betrayed by people they thought close to them. Let me tell you, in this world, it's going to happen. There's lots of people out here that are jealous greedy and they're willing to do almost anything to step over you and a lot of times unfortunately this can also include family just because they're family doesn't mean they love you they like you or they're on your side and this can and does happen frequently in fact sometimes because it's family it's easier for them to attack you and take advantage because you will be more vulnerable open or susceptible to them and it's very unfortunate, but it happens all the time, all the time. But there is a simple solution to this, trust me. I'm a professional. I've been attacked many times by many people and I'm still standing, okay? I always tell everyone that I am going to be like the last man standing here, okay, with the roaches if I have to, doing readings and serving the mysteries with roaches, if that's what I have to do. So, my good old Ma, Kali Ma, Ma Kali. Long time ago, I experienced being attacked by many, many people, at times by thousands of people all at once, or even the whole world all at once, right? You like hear me. Um, and what I learned from my ma, from my Kali, a long time ago as a child is destroy. Don't let people destroy you. If people come to attack you and try to destroy you, when people have come to attack me and try to destroy me, I've destroyed myself in order so that there is nothing to destroy because I will rise from the ashes. And so will you. Like a phoenix, you will rise from the ashes. Okay? Being attacked just tells you really how special and important you are in this world. And it tells you about how even others acknowledge how important and special you are in this world that they're willing to spend so much energy attacking you. I've become privy, privy, I've become privy to some recent information about people attacking these two women who are out there trying to trademark 
something spiritual. Now, I looked it up because, hey, I have a brain. And the same thing that they're attempting to trademark has been trademarked by many other corporations throughout the years. And no one has had an issue with those people trademarking spiritual things if they were corporations. Now that these spiritualists are attempting to trademark something, there's become a whole war about it, okay? And there's been hundreds of threats from other spiritualists, spiritualists, to these people about cutting out their tongues and causing them harm and comments about doing harmful things to them. Wow. That is real spiritual there, spiritualist. Wow. You really have some spiritual powers there that you got to take out your hands and that you got to attack these women. Okay? And there's a lot of men as well as other women attacking these women. I understand if you don't agree. I totally get that. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, to agree, to disagree about what's going on, etc., etc. It's a whole nother thing to go writing people, talking about harming them physically, coming to their house, doing drive-bys, or any of that other nonsense from many so-called spiritualists. Yes, so-called. Because I've never threatened someone in my life. I'm a spiritualist. If I got to get my hands dirty, boo-boo, I do. Okay? And I don't have any problems. Right? A lot of people attacking other spiritualists. I've heard this all week long. So that's one scenario going on. But I've heard all week long about other spiritualists coming to me, about other spiritualists attacking them, or people that they are close to that are spiritualists attacking them. It's really a sad story. Right? If you're the victim of these things, you should feel bad for your attackers in a way. Right? It shows an immense amount of insecurity and lack of spiritual training and development. It's actually quite telling. And remember this, from someone who's dealt with it and who will deal with it and doesn't really care, use the technique of my wonderful Ma Kali. If you want chaos, let become the chaos. Do the dance of destruction. Destroy. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Let chaos be your friend. Learn how to be like Ma Kali. So that like the phoenix, you can rise from the ashes again. And rise you will. You will rise from the ashes. Okay? Don't allow anything to stop you from fulfilling your purpose and being who you are. Rise from the ashes. I know it can be a little sad. It could be a little difficult. You know. But many, many people, many famous people, have been attacked. And it's just par for the course, okay? Many people are attacked. Unfortunately, some people are also, that I've been hearing about this week, have been attacked by people that are family members to them or people that they consider family or like family. And this is part of what Bal and Joe had discussed before about what you need to be careful of, right? Because unfortunately, sometimes you might be there for somebody who's not really there for you. You might be backing up, supporting, and putting a lot of energy into someone who's not doing the same for you. So, if you're being attacked, don't worry. If you need help, reach out to us. I can help you. We can do spiritual work to help you in dealing with whatever your situation may be. But if you're being attacked, remember, you will rise from the ashes, as you have before again and again. I've risen many times. And every time will be a brand new you, a whole cleansing to your being will occur. 
Embrace the chaos. Eat it for lunch. Enjoy it. <clears throat> These are things that happen. And unfortunately, there's many people out here, so-called spiritualists, who, like, don't actually have any proper training or knowledge, and it just shows because proper trained spiritualists are elders, a.k.a. adults, a.k.a. behave like adults, and don't behave like children, right? And they don't resort to childish bullying and nonsense or attacking people when attacks are not necessary. I know that this may not be a popular um, opinion of people, that they're going to agree with me. Some of you may not agree, right? But nothing warrants, really, attacking others right? Especially when they're other spiritualists. We as spiritualists have so much myths and misunderstanding and nonsense stereotypes about us that we already have to work against. Many of us deal with families that don't fully accept us and we have tons of work to do dealing with that nonsense. In the spiritual community, there's enough for everyone. I know that people who are like, let's say, less trained and less knowledgeable, you know, they're still thinking like there's not enough for everyone. But in reality, there is enough for everyone. The earth and God have created things good enough to make sure that there's enough for everyone. We as spiritual workers should be supporting each other and helping and working with each other to dispel and get rid of the myth not encourage them about how horrible we are and you know if if our spirituality was good it would show, bear good fruit and i agree 100 percent so if you're a spiritual a spiritualist and you're attacking another spiritualist like basically you might want to check yourself okay and really see what are you doing to the community at large? How is this helping the community and our people at large? Or what is it causing instead in the community at large? Right? A lot of people jump to assumptions and jump to assumptions to attack others because they're just miserable, right? And if you're being attacked, remember there is hope, okay? You will rise. Be a cow. You will rise from the ashes even better than before. So that's all I have to give to you today. Keep the faith. And if you're dealing with these things, you know, keep the faith. Secondly, I'm going to have another video coming out sometime soon with lots of good tea. So we're going to go to that. So keep the faith. Stay safe, and remember, trust in your spirits, trust in your godparents, if you have them, right? And trust in life. If you're clean and clear and you haven't done wrong, right, I'm not saying that bad things can't happen to you or that you can't be attacked. You can. It happens all the time. But get your spiritual things in order. And remember, you will rise from the ashes. So stay blessed until next time.